if you want an explanation why I left for so long Hi, what up guys? Welcome back to my channel, A Crafter in Training. My name is Jorge, and if you're new here, welcome. So today I'm going to show you how to design and make a CD single that goes inside a slim case for CD singles like this one. They're really easy to make and they're perfect to make maxi singles from your favorite singers or bands. Or they're also great to making gift as mixtapes for your loved ones and they don't take a lot of space like regular CD cases do. If you're wondering where you can get the cases like this ones, I found mine at a thrift store and I have found quite a few of them. If you are unable to find them, keep also an eye open for thrift stores or secondhand stores. Some people might have some of these because these cases were really, really popular back then. I just basically get one with a CD and an insert inside. I throw it away, don't tell anybody. I throw the CD and the insert away and then I just make my own. But if you don't want to do that or if you're unable to find the cases on your local thrift stores, you can also order them online. I will make sure to leave a couple of links in the description. They are a little bit expensive because you have to buy them on books, but if you plan on making a lot of these, it's a great investment. If you want to make just a couple of them, keep an eye open on your thrift stores. Eventually you will be finding them. Even if you don't have like anything planned to make CD singles, buy them, buy them. I hoard them and I have like five or six of them. I don't plan on making more of these anytime soon, but it's good to have them on hand whenever I want to make a new one. So with that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Start off by going to the description of this video and click on the link I've left for you. This will take you to my OneDrive folder in which you will find three different folders. You're going to click on the one that is labeled Templates. Once the folder opens, you're going to select the file called 8 CD Single JCard. After you have selected said file, you're going to download it and proceed to open it. If you have it installed, Photoshop will open the file and you should have this. This is what you're going to use to design your J card. Notice there are four black shapes, one of each corner of the file. These are blackout parts that will end up cut at the end since city single J cards have them. Now I want to explain you really quickly the elements of this file that will help you have a cohesive J card. First is this skinny rectangle that acts as the spine, followed by the flap that it's seen from the CD side. Here usually comes the track list, the info about the record label or the artist, and a scan bar if wanted. Then we have the middle which usually has the artwork for the CD single that you're using. And the last one is where you would have some information about the CD or the tracks recorded. Now, remember that I am not a design channel, so I don't make design tutorials. I just tell you how to set up your designs on the file I provide so you can print it. So with that being said, once you have your image placed on the file, make sure the black parts layer is placed on top of everything and merge your image with the black parts layers together to form a single image. Once your file is looking something like this, go back to the description of this video and click on the link I provided. This time, open the folder called Paper Size. Inside the folder, select the file titled Legal and download it. Open it using Photoshop and make sure the file is horizontal. Now that you have the legal file open on Photoshop, go back to your image. With your keyboard, press Ctrl A if you are on Windows or Command A if you are on Mac. This should select the whole image and then press Ctrl C if on Windows or Command C if on Mac. This will copy the image to the clipboard. Go back to the legal file and press Ctrl V if on Windows or Command V if on Apple and you should see your image appear. This action will grant the image to place itself in the middle of the page. Since the file have the same resolution, the sizes should match. From here, you could either save it as a high resolution JPEG or print it directly from Photoshop. Just make sure that when you print it, it has to be horizontal and print it on the highest resolution possible and with the adequate type of paper you're using. I printed mine on a magazine type kind of paper. Once your files have been printed, it should look something like this. Well, mine looks thinner because they cut the top and the bottom of the page to save some time. So now you need to cut it out. This is really straightforward. All you have to do is cut all the areas that are not part of the design and also you need to cut the black parts out. Following last step, we need to mark the folds. I use a ruler and a dental tool I repurpose for this type of jobs. After the folds have been marked, fold them to have your J card come to life. All you have to do now is to insert it in your CD single jewel case. 
I also worked on the CD. You can follow the tutorial I have on the matter on my channel. Link is on the description as well as on the corner. And just like that, your CD single is finished. Yeah, yeah, I know the end result looks a bit different. Since I recorded the video, I changed the design of the CD as some tracks I wanted on the CD originally surfaced online. So I had to remake it and decided to rework the design as well. But the end result is still the same for the tutorial. And that is it for today's video, guys. Let me know what you think of this project down below in the comments. So that's everything for today's video, guys. I hope you like it. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are, thank you so much. Don't forget that you can follow me on my social media, such as Twitter and Instagram, at Crafter Training. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.